first thing, social media represents on average 50% of the time people spend online. Uh, people go back because they want to get the information from their friends, from their relatives. They go there to communicate. Uh, you know, Facebook has been a big platform for students as they can, you know, they build groups to share projects. Uh, you know, they can drop their files. Uh, they can keep in touch with their family. Same thing with Instagram. It's all that, you know, it's being part of that of that group, staying connected with your friends even when you're away. And it's changed. It's big, went from Facebook to Instagram to Snapchat to TikTok, but it's always been about that. It's always been, you know, spending time, seeing what your friends are doing, communicating. And it's a lot of time of, you know, quality time for advertisers because, the you know, people are interested in seeing what people around them are are doing at that moment and there's a such a large amount of data that's collected on those platforms everything you do you know you're segmented into specific audience oh well he's been watching you know a lot of sports pages or he's been you know he's been shopping a lot um he's been and oh he's been clicking on a lot of house ads and depending on what you're doing your age and all the information you put they create these super precise segments for companies to be like, well, I want to talk to somebody who, you know, has been shopping uh, for a vacation and who's about to leave in the next, you know, two weeks, who is most likely between 30 and 50 uh, because they've entered their age. That's a male. And I want to sell them, a, you know, a, a man's swimwear accessory or, or a bathing suit so they can drill down. And the fact is the amount of time that's spent on there and especially on, you know, when you're on, on your phone, it can take sometimes ads on, uh, on social media can take the full screen of your phone, which is super, like you can't look away. And Snapchat had this study that showed that even if they show you something for two seconds, if it's something that can interest you, two seconds is enough for you to remember the product and go see it later. You don't have to see the full ad. Uh, and the test they, they did was obviously they took brands that, you know, people that could interest people in an audience and they showed about 30 ads and they cut them off at two seconds each, um, for, for brands that people knew, obviously if your brand's not known, it's another story, but for brands that people knew, and then they asked and people know, and on average, people will remember in a, you know, in a, in a list of random things, they'll remember seven or eight. But people could remember up to 15 or 16 ads for viewing them only two seconds, which was very impressive and kind of changed the perception on the discussion as like, does your ad always have to be viewed until completion? I think that's, a, that's been a big discussion. Like should, you know, I'm buying a 15 second video, the, does somebody need to watch the full 15 seconds or is the first five seconds enough? What should I pay for? Should I pay for more impressions but not completed or should I pay for more completion? Obviously, it depends on the objective and the message. If you build an ad where the, you know, the full brand and offer is at the end, you want to pay for completion. But if you, right at the start, you're able to see that, you know, this is a Coca-Cola ad and you, there's no offers, it's just a brand ad, why would you pay to completion? You know, the people are going to remember your brand after two seconds. So for big brands, it's always been the discussion, should I buy more, you know, impressions but less interaction time or should i buy more interaction times but less impressions because that's how they charge you so yeah so social media has obviously become a big part especially because of time spent and the fact that we see um a large uh proportion of different dem demographics using it as much as you can have the tur it starts at 13 and it goes all the way up to 80, 85. Now, obviously, when you get it, it's like a ner it's a, it's it's a norm normal curve. Eight, 13 to 18 is pretty low, and then 65 and up is lower as well. But you can still reach a large number of those users there more than you know. Sometimes trying to pick a traditional media to talk to them. And the thing is, you can pay only for that group versus having to pay for all the spill of another group.